Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by for yet another video. I do appreciate that and as always I appreciate you. So what we have here says microbes in Antarctica have a previously unknown ability to scavenge hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide from the air to stay alive in extreme conditions like on other planets. It goes on to say that it is a discovery that microbes in Antarctica can, can scavenge hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide from the air to stay alive in such extreme conditions has implications for the search for life on other planets. Scientists have discovered that microbes in Antarctica have previously a previously unknown ability to scavenge hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide from the air to stay alive in extreme conditions. The find has implications for the search for life on other planets. We just read that like three times, so I do apologize, but that's you know I'm just following the article here. Also, suggesting extraterrestrial microbes could also rely on trace atmospheric gases for survival. Now Antarctica is one of the most extreme environments on Earth, yet the cold, dark, and dry desert regions are home to a surprisingly rich diversity of micro microbial communities. The big question has been how the microbes can survive when there is little water, the soils are very low in organic carbon, and there is very little capacity to produce energy from the sun via photosynthesis during the winter darkness. Now it says that they found that Antarctica microbes have evolved mechanisms to live on air instead and they can get most of the energy and carbon they need by scavenging trace atmospheric gases including hydrogen and carbon monoxide says study senior author and UNSW scientist associate, associate professor Belinda Ferrari. Ferrari. Now, soil samples were collected from two coastal ice-free sites in different regions of the east of eastern Antarctica, um, Robinson Ridge, about 10 kilometers from Casey Station and uh, Wilkes Land, and Adams Flat, 242 kilometers from Davis Station and Princess Elizabeth Land. Both areas are pristine polar deserts, devoid of any vascular plants. says that researchers studied the mi microbial DNA in, in the surface soil from both sites and reconstructed the genes genomes of 23 of the microbes that lived there, including some of the first genomes of two groups of previously unknown bacteria called WPS2 and AD3. Now they found the dominant species in the soils had genes which gave them a high affinity for hydrogen and carbon monoxide allowing them to remove the trace gases from the air at a high enough rate to sustain their predictive, predicted energy needs and support primary production. Now this new understanding about how life can still exist in physically extreme and uh, nutrient starved environments like Antarctica opens up the possibility of atmospheric gases supporting life on other planets. But you know that's the thing about life. Um, it will some way somehow find a way to survive if you will in any conditions given enough time um, you know you, you think about uh, it, it's it's mind-blowing though when you think about how old the universe truly is or at least how old they tell us it is um, I don't think it should be surprising that, that that things even you know even if it's my you know just microbes it's still a form of life, you know. You get we 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 when we think about life, I think as humans, we we think about you know the living and breathing like humans, us ourselves, animals, and, and whatnot. You know, um, everything around us on this planet is alive, even the trees, the grass, and every single thing. But we don't always think about it that way, you know, because they're they they you know they're basically these are the things that don't truly move or interact or you know with us in a lot of ways if you got I mean I'm, I don't know how to truly explain it I'm just I'm just saying it it's not surprising to me that life can find a way to sustain life and thrive and survive in any condition it doesn't matter how hot the conditions are it doesn't matter how cold the conditions are that's the beautiful thing about life it's, it finds a way to survive. 
But yeah, I think that's going to be about it for this article. Just a really interesting article I wanted to share with you guys about, you know, this this discovery, if you will. And I know I maybe I didn't personally do a great job of trying to explain what I was talking about, but hopefully you understand me. Um, it just, like I said, it just it just goes to show just um, how persistent life can be when you know in, in any condition. Um, but yeah, I, I just I found this really interesting, and uh, you know, uh, I guess we could see see what comes of it. Any future discoveries, I'll definitely get those out to you guys for sure. But you know, thanks for watching these videos and supporting the channel. You know, we're growing every day, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. Be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below, and turn on bell notifications as well if you'd like to get my videos as soon as they're uploaded. But um, other than that. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.